All right, we didn't want to forget this. You voted, we listened. Here's your Choose the News winner. Computer geeks are trying to beat hackers to the punch. Casey Wyan reports. They may be computer science professors, but they speak the language of soldiers, both modern and medieval. People always have this sort of as a holy grail of the, the unhackable computer. I think the, the only thing you can really do is make it you know, more difficult to get uh, exploited. The bad guys are winning. If I'm trying to protect my castle, I have to protect every weakness. I have to cover every vulnerability. If you're the bad guy, you only have to find one vulnerability that I haven't covered and come in through there. It's a continuous arms race that put, you know, makes us uh, always work on the latest possible threat, which is very, very exciting. And challenging. You see Santa Barbara students are trying to expose weaknesses in computer networks before criminals do. Adam here is working on a system to find vulnerabilities in websites automatically. What you're teaching these folks to do is sort of behave like the bad guys. In, in a certain sense, yes. Would you hire a locksmith that doesn't know how locks are picked? You wouldn't. This screen shows locations where the computer security lab found servers used by criminals to spread viruses, malware, and botnets designed to steal your credit card or take over a computer network. The, the motivation of the attackers has significantly shifted. When you look at the sort of the hackers 10 years ago, it was uh, hacking for fun. Now the attackers are in for profit, so they make money off it. That means they are uh, much better organized. The center has won some key battles. In 2007, it discovered voting machines in California and Ohio were vulnerable to hackers. And it took control of a malicious Russian botnet targeting businesses long enough to help authorities make arrests. But computer security pros face rapidly expanding exposures from smartphones to social networks. Giovanni is sharing with me this link of babies laughing. Let's click on it and suddenly you're compromised. So for the attackers, uh, social networks are a tremendous opportunity. People are sharing personal information uh, to a level that was unthinkable just 10 years ago. These experts say the best way to protect your own data on the internet is still pretty simple. Never share sensitive information in email or with websites that are not encrypted. And always check your bank account and credit card statements for any signs of cyber theft. Casey Wyan, CNN, Santa Barbara, California.